Well, if you were up and at them early this morning, you got a chance to see some blue sky and some sunshine. But as the day is going along, we're starting to see a lot of that cloud cover moving in. This is our neighborhood weather network camera, courtesy of our friends at Underwater Connection. 66 degrees east southeast wind will be switching to the north after a front passes by today. And what that's going to do is collide with a low pressure system moving up from the south. And we're looking at one of those days. We could see some heavy rainfall. We're going to keep a close eye on the burn scars. Winds will pick up from the north again a little bit later this afternoon. Hail a possible. Possibility. As a matter of fact, one inch hail possible in some spots. And as you've already seen there, we are looking at the possibility of some tornadoes. Here's your live HD Doppler radar, and we're showing you now that pretty much the entire northern portion of our viewing area is going to be under a tornado watch until at least 7 p.m. tonight. Storms already starting to fire up along the I 25 corridor. This one right above Walsenburg right now, moving east at 13 miles an hour, and they will continue to do that through the rest of the afternoon. And again, I'm expecting some of these to flare up and be pretty strong. There's one right now that's just to the west of Colorado Springs moving northeast at three miles an hour. So it'll be making its way pretty much through the Briar Gate, Rock Rim and area here in the next little bit. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on that. And that is just the beginning. 65 right now in the spring, 75 in Pueblo. Leadville getting up to 45 after being in the 20s overnight last night. Already seeing some 70s out into the plains and we're looking to top out in the 80s there today. Here's what's happening in the big picture. Sky scan doesn't really look particularly impressive. Of this low pressure system has just been skirting along below us and will now start to make its way up across the Colorado Plains. And what that means for us is again, that shower activity will pick up as we go throughout the day today. So, again, this is something we're going to be wanting to keep a close eye on, and you're going to want to stay weather aware for the rest of the day today. Putting Skycast in motion, what I want to show you here is it's starting as early as 2 o'clock today. Strong storms will start to fire up along northern El Paso County and into Teller County as well. And as all you've already seen there, down towards Los Animus County, Walsenburg, Trinidad. You'll be under the gun in the early going, but now as we go through the later part this afternoon, between 4 and 6, I'm really expecting it to become very active in El Paso County here and in Pueblo County as well. So again, that's why you're seeing all those watches and warnings in effect. As we go through hour by hour to 5 o'clock on Thursday, we will see pretty much all of El Paso County become very active right in time for the commute. It stays that way through the 6 o'clock hour and finally starts to make its way off to the northeast by about 7 o'clock tonight, but we will continue to see showers cycling back through overnight tonight and even into Friday morning. Here's what your lows look like overnight tonight. 43 in the Springs, 46 in Pueblo. You'll be seeing some 40s along the I-25 corridor. Leadville, you go back into the 20s again. Sorry about that. Here's how your next seven days look. You're going to be seeing a high of 61 on Friday. Again, another 50% chance for showers. The weekend looks salvageable. We get back into the 70s again, and the shower chances will be there in the afternoon but not as high as they are today. We're going to keep those shower chances through the extended forecast, and we're only going to stay in the 60s and 70s. Pueblo, your high for Friday will be 70-30% chance of showers. We're going to take you back up into the upper 70s on Saturday. you got an 80 on your horizon on Sunday, 10% chance of showers there on Sunday afternoon, and you say in the 70 range, and then it looks like we finally get a break during the middle of next week. Canyon City, 67 for your high on Friday, 40% chance of showers. We take you back up into the 70s for the weekend. And as a matter of fact, you get to stay there through the foreseeable future, but you do have rain chances. And finally, in Teller County, yeah, 50 is all you're going to squeak out on Friday there. Overnight lows do touch down to freezing, so we're going to have to keep a close eye on snow levels here. I've been seeing lots and lots of reports going back and forth as low as 9,000 feet. So, yeah, we're looking at the possibility of Friday morning's commute being, well, kind of a dicey one and more like winter and less like spring. Oh, boy.